Some say Berlin is the capital of techno. I don't know if it's true, but I went to a festival just one hour outside of Berlin to find out if that's true. It's a three-day festival. I've never been to one before. And I can already tell it's filled with lots of techno vibes, like a lot of hard techno beats, uh, a lot of drugs, and a lot of dancing. This is my group of party people and we're gonna yeah. find out and if this weekend is what it's friends. supposed to be. And yeah, Are you my ready best for today? <laughs> All right, let's go to one of the first stages and see what it's up. They're crazy, these Germans. What is going on? It feels like a lot of people are dressed up in um, yeah, black sort of fetish nightclub clothes. I was expecting them to be like summery, you know, festival clothes like I guess in my head was Woodstock man I was so wrong most people are kind of yeah like very little amount of clothes let's say and it looks quite interesting looks cool I wish I could show you like with a zoom there's a guy who has like a mask made out of metal in front of his face. <laughs> wow man, what is this? They made a crazy looking forest with some lights. Fuck, I have to come back during the night because look, it's like spider webs. And did you see how everyone's dressed? Like, looks like we're in a different world. Like something, I don't know, of the year 2030. Everyone's like in black, fetish looking clothes. Like uh, the other guys tell me this is like Berghain. No Berghain style where this <laughs> is not just what you see like in the spider web but actually what people wear where's my ah. <laughs> already losing my friends even though we are sober i promise like this spider web in the psychedelic forest crazy guys middle of the forest there's another rave happening like, what the f is going on man this is crazy what? <laughs> see this wait I'll actually I'll extend the camera so you can actually see a little bit more
good techno party. I'm back in the techno forest, the psychedelic forest. And they have some really cool looking arts that's backed it with blue light. How cool is that? I think this one is my favorite. Look at that, that's crazy. Also this one looks really nice. But I think the art here is going to be a little bit more expensive than in Cuba, to be honest, because in Cuba the thing is, oh, this one is cool too. The thing is, in Cuba, the people don't have a lot of ways to earn money, so the art is a pretty good way. And they can spend hours working on your art and they're happy with like, you know, let's say a hundred euros because for them they can get by for maybe three months with that money but here it's not the same of course so price is gonna be much higher but still quite like it Wait, let me actually take out my earplug here. There. If you go to a dance festival in maybe anywhere in the world, but less, especially in Berlin, guck mal, ich habe das Spotlight vor, wir haben das voll no, das Spotlight yeah. on uns. So, but <laughs> it was coincidence that the Spotlight was following us. Back to topic. So, if you are in Berlin or maybe anywhere, you don't go just dancing with the quote-unquote legal drugs right most people they will enhance their state with a little bit of extra and so you can try ecstasy is the the most obvious one of course and um, also LSD is popular at festivals not sure about this one because it's like hard techno festival but I tried anyway and uh, I feel so mellow now I was too lazy to vlog all day today because I just, you cannot muster up the strength in your body to come up with words, stand up, take out your camera and put the thoughts in action that are like the words that finally come into the camera, right? Like right now. But now I feel like I've danced a little bit, some oxygen went into the noggin. And uh, now let's see how the, le the rest of the night, the best part of the night goes with a little bit of, tiny little bit of enhancements. Guys, as I'm dancing, you won't believe it, but I was thinking, closing my eyes, thinking about stuff, and I will tell you, like, once I get out of this crazy, crazy party, I will hope that I can still tell you my thoughts. Maybe they are stupid, you tell me in the comments, but to me, they feel like they're straight from the heart. Give me one minute as I end this rave or, or give a pause. 